How you doing, folks? We're here, Seamus O'Connor's, Belly Finang, Kerry, if I turn the camera, Kerry Agricultural Services, he's Zetters, Services, High Spec, Cashel, Zetter Spares, Construction Equipment, New and Used Tractors. All right, we're here, we've done this before, it was a massive success, we had a great response from it, and um, Seamus has an absolute selection of everything. I mean everything here, some gates, yard scrapers, sprayers, tractors, tankers, uh, post drivers, rakes, hay tethers, you name it, mowers, fertilizer spreaders, it's all here. We're going to give a quick walk through it. Won't be a long video, maybe 10, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. But um, what you have to do, also, I'm in this fella, the silage main. Silage main. Yeah, silage main, I keep saying silage man. Silage main, is on Facebook. Um, the whole lot, if you leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, you get one of these jackets. They're a fabulous jacket. It's a lovely warm jacket. I also have a mug and I also have thermoses. Now what you have to do, I'm going to pick a winners. We already did this already. And I'm going to put up the winners in the next, today is sometime Sunday. Um, I'm going to announce the winners either on Facebook, on the Machinery of Ireland Facebook page. And I'll also put the winners up on the comment section on um, on the YouTube. So give a like, give a subscribe, and you can win one of these jackets or you'll win one of the thermos flasks or the mugs and um the silage men will be posting straight out to your door and I'll be picking a winner, um picking three winners. So best of luck to you everyone again. Like I said it has to be a subscriber, have to be like, have to be a uh, have to be a subscriber, liked and leave a comment. Let's swing the camera and give a look what Seamus has to do. Seamus is just here outside Belly Fanan, halfway between kind of Killarney, Tralee, Farden 4, around that, between Farden 4, I suppose, Castle Main, if you know that kind of countryside, and he has absolutely everything. Great selection of second-hand tankers and all, and the last time we were here, there was a lovely Abbey tanker above, it has actually sold since, well, it has gone from where it was, so I presume it's sold, so some fellow might have seen it here, you know, um, he might have something for you, and um, we'll go from there, we'll turn the camera, and we'll see what he has here in the, in the yard today. Alright guys, that's his info there. Career Agricultural Services just here in Belly Finan. Um, here we have a selection of yard scrapers. He has a massive selection of stuff altogether, absolutely massive. And you know what? He's nice little handy sprayers. Um, the whole lot is there, little handy sprayers. Actually, John, you know I was looking at one of these things the other night on on YouTube. Air there, a Bridgeway. Um, it's for unwrapping or un unveiling, we'll call it, or de-wrapping the round bale. Um, you put the round bale into it and she will turn the round bale. These spikes go round in a circle and it'll it'll unwrap the round bale more or less the same way as it was baled. Um, very simple, very straightforward machine. Um, but it, come here, it's, if it's going to make your life a small bit easier, um, that's what it's all about. Um, is there different sizes? I don't know. Um, also along here we have a couple of round feeders, small little round feeders, they're not the big, big, massive, bulky ones. And we have another couple of Bridgeway, I don't know, I presume there's some name for them. Leave a comment and tell me what they actually are called. Bridgeway Limited, so County Offaly, Ireland. Yeah, another fantastic Irish company. Another Bridgeway, we have Bridgeway Mole Plows. Um, what have we here? What are these things? Do you know what I don't know what they are? They're Bridgeway again. Some fella can leave a comment and tell me exactly what they are. Um, we have a, is that a Bridgeway again, a bale slicer. We have the sheep pin. So for all the sheep farmers out there. Um, we have another sheep, you know, is, is it for separating the sheep? I'm not too sure. You can be telling me. We have a high spec um, agitator. Fantastic machine again. Um, high spec, of course, fantastic Ian Irish company. Do you know what people will be all on to me on Facebook there and they'd be saying, Oh, everything is fantastic, all the tractors are lovely. There, I love all the tractors, I love machinery, I love all this kind of stuff. Do you know, nice, handy size transport box there. Is it a four foot transport box? Two of them. Um, and we have um, a bigger, kind of maybe a seven foot power box as well. So all here for you and we have the cranes that go on the back of the tractor you know for the the fertilizer spreader um go on the back of the tractor if you've a one-man band and you've only one tractor you put this on the back of the tractor you put your fertilizer spreader onto it and um you hitch on you go away and you have the crane up on the back of your tractor forevermore um we have a couple of castle bale grabs actually i was looking at one of these the last day does this 
have it. It does, you see the, the hooks inside here. These hooks, when you're you're um, grabbing your bale, them hooks will actually grab the plastic on the bale. So they'll they'll take the plastic off the bale for you. Here we have a couple of, I think they're called, them ones soft hands, uh, soft hand bale grabs, or bale handlers with the, the other normal ones inside. That one seems to have a small bit of work done, so you might be able to get it that bit cheaper. A um, couple of more ones here. These ones I like because you can actually take off these. Um, I think you rip that bolt there, and you could, they can take them off, and you can also use them then as a, a spike for spiking bales during the winter months. Um, Scully, of course, another company only back the road in Killarglen, um, near Beaufort. Scully make bale trailers, and they make bale handlers and all that. Very, very successful company again, another great carry company. With a double bale handler inside in the corner. Um, selection of buckets, another scully. Um, selection of buckets, small buckets, big buckets. Um, a couple of creep feeders for sheep and stuff. More creep feeders. Gates. Keep the gates here on your left hand side. So don't be shy for a gate. Bridgeway trailers. Um, Euro hitches for buckets. Spikes. A couple of second hand shear grabs, more gates, more everything, hoses, pipes, the whole lot. We'll swing the camera here and we're going up the yard. We have a couple of grass tine, heather grass tines, or whatever you call them. Actually, I see a fellow one time there during the summer and they cut silage inside in kind of bad land and he had one of these and he came in and he was able to smooth over all the ruts that the boys had made with the with the tractors during the during the summer. Um, Malone, logs with her. Malone, of course, another Irish company. Malone well, make fantastic stuff. Actually, I have where well, my father has a Malone post driver, and um, they're absolutely abs they're they're a fantastic machine. The only thing I have against them. Is the table is a bit small, and when you split, or when you split a lump of timber, um, you have no place to put it, especially if it's a big log. So what I, we actually done was we put on a bigger, a bigger, bigger table on it, and um, it's a fantastic. The only thing is, I would advise you not to go tampering with it until it was out of warranty, even though there's not a whole pile to go wrong. Um, it's just a ram, and if you have one yourself, you see this shaft here, grease that. And um, you'll be absolutely perfect. Um, we have a couple of day Viking fertilizer spreaders, and we have what make is that? It might minus agri. Um, where are they made? Let me see the the, the thing. Uh, it doesn't say. I can't see. It doesn't see. I can't see it unless someone somebody can tell me where it was made. A um, couple of. Rotary moors, dribble bars inside, of course, with the, the slurry now and the slurry season and uh, all that. You can be ordering this time of the year and try to turn away from the sun. We have a couple of rollers, fairly big, sizable rollers there for you. We have a couple of rakes, silage rakes. How things? Right, guys, we're here. We have the grass tine harrows with two rakes in the back. We have Two high spec, they're brand new high spec spreaders. She's an 800 and a 1000 SS, whatever the SS means. I presume the 800 and the 1000 is the cubic quantity. And we have, she looks to me like a bridgeway side spreader. Lovely little spreader again. Um, this is the castle bale grab. We, we can get into this one, so we'll get in here. We can't, we can't get in. But it's the it's the off for grabbing the bale, for taking the plastic off the bales. See the the three, the four grabs. I think that, that'll grab your plastic. You cut off your bale, you turn your bale upside down until you grab the bale kind of sideways with it. And um, she'll cut the bale as well for you with the thing. Absolutely fantastic. More fantastic stuff, lads. Um we've a big oh this is two thousand three hundred gallon high spec tanker. If we turn up the camera and we have the side boat with valves for filling on both sides 
and you have to cover it. I never saw a big entrance like that on the side. Yeah. And you can fit any one of your dribble bars to it. I presume Seamus said fit it for you. And then we have this thing. I was looking at this there only a while ago. Um goes on the Euro hitch onto your front of your tractor. And she is the like the mown bar for cutting the hedges. Lovely, lovely little machine as well. I don't know what you're going to call it. I don't know what it's called. Cause it's like a finger bar more. And because Seamus always has a couple of zetters. Um, I think that one might have been there the last time. We'll give a look. What is she? She's approximately GP110. She's an absolutely spotless tractor. There's no number plate on it. Is she actually brand new? I know I say she's brand new. She is brand new. She's actually brand new out of the box. What a fantastic tractor. Beautiful looking tractor. Zetter are a very, very good tractor. Completely actually underrated. Um, but they are a fabulous tractor. Um, here we have another Zetter. 100 HS Proxima Zetter. Is our number plate on that. She's an automatic Autotron power shift. Um, what here is she? 181. Again, look. Very little done. Very, very clean tractor. Um, here behind me then we have, I think they're called, I'm not too sure what they're called. Are they called an aerator? No, she has the spikes into the ground and you can fill the box on top of different types of weights and all that kind of stuff. And here you want to be ordering these now for next spring, but we have a selection of Malone Moors, um, drawbar, or drawbar Moors, linkage arms Moors. There's one, two, three, there's four of them there. Um, Malone again, same crowd as the, the log splitters and the post drivers we were looking at a while ago. We have, what's that thing? I don't know, is that a, a woofler? I'd say that's a woofler in the back. Um, we have a couple of hay tethers, silage tethers, grass tethers, whatever you want to call them. And we have a couple of toppers inside there wrapped in plastic. That's where your topper comes new, if you're ever wondering what way it comes new. Um, we have a second hand hay tether there. And we have a second hand dribble bar in the back. Um, that's definitely a woofler. And we have a very, very nice 1390 David Brown there inside in the shed, but he, he tells me it's sold. So well aware to the, the person that bought it. Now, this is a beautiful machine. Massey Ferguson 20. Um, this is, I know some fellas going to say it, these are the way they came, and this is, it should be painted red and it was a highway color. But the Massey Ferguson 20, to the best of my knowledge, was always yellow. Like, this is a fabulous tractor. Like, I actually started her there a while ago. She's actually running like a mouse's heart. She's, does it, okay, that, that's not an original cab. Um, but she has the pickup hitch and all this. She has the wheels. She has good old tyres. Okay, there's a few cracks in the tyres. But look, it's not bad. Um, she's a beautiful tractor. Massey Ferguson 135, of course, a completely bulletproof tractor. Just... A fabulous, fabulous tractor. Just, they're a lovely tractor. Fully serviced, she tells me, new fan belt, new everything on it. And, of course, they did come yellow. They came yellow, the Massey Ferguson 20 came yellow. That's the colour of them. They left the factory in the yellow colours. Uh, John Deere Gator, a couple of manure spreaders here. Um, don't even ask me what makes. A couple of second-hand manure spreaders there in the corner. Uh, so, if you're in the market for any one of them... Um, Get on to Seamus here, he'll sort you out, and we have a couple of brand new manure spreaders there above and top. That is a fabulous tractor, a fabulous, fabulous tractor. We'll swing this around here, we have, also here we have a nice little quad fertilizer spreader. Is that for you? Is that for you? And over here we have a small little roller, and we have a couple of Ross Moore second hand loaders. And a very, very nice, um, is she a class? I don't know, class rotary tether. Is she, what is she, one, two, three, is she a five meter, six meter class rotary tether? This trailer here, he was telling me, he was looking at this trailer, has a big massive chassis in it and everything. So this is for sale too. She's an old cow box, an old cow trailer. But like even to take the body off it and to 
take the body off it and use the chassis for something. Like the size of the chassis, the chassis must be a foot thick and it's only held down with six, six bolts. Also here we have a couple of second hand vacuum tankers. Um, I don't know what make that is, it looks like there's no making it, but a small tank, maybe 1300. Another high spec, maybe 1300 as well. And we have a Bell Vac 2250. Again, absolutely lovely, lovely tankers. These tankers are here for you. And they are, they are just, they're there, ready to go to gap. And we'll give a walk down the back. We'll see what's down here. Um, that is an Amazon fertilizer spreader, a 902. We have a Canerverland mower. Um, what else is here? We have, is it a Hardy sprayer? We have um, a John Deere mower. Okay, she's not really for work, but look, if you're looking for parts of it, is she 1365 maybe? I don't really know. Hang on, there's a number here on the front of it. Let me give a look at 1350. 1350 and we have a little plow what's the plow lads is she a tree for over them tree for over them i'd say also lads we have is it an nc second hand vacuum tank and we have a couple of more feeders here fertilizer spreaders feeders and down the yard below we have a couple of we won't go down there, um, if I can zoom in, we have a couple of nice boxes and there's a couple of sprayers and there's a couple of second hand um, mowers below there as well. All there for you behind the Sherman Sir Connors and Belly Fanan. Alright guys, that's it. If you want this, or if you want that, or if you want any of this stuff down the yard, contact Seamus. He's the man. And if you want to win this, have to win a like, have to give a subscribe, have to give it a thumbs up. And the silage man will post it out to you. And we have a thermos and a mug as well. So three prizes for every video for the next couple of weeks. And um, plans in the bucket or plans in the bag or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's it. Give a like, give a subscribe. Call Seamus. He has the stuff for you.